So I'm going to have a quick uh, fiddle with this now. I'm giving up trying to mess about with the Ryobi. Said I was going to go indoors, but I lied. I'm going to play with this. See if I can get the uh, new capacitor in there. See if I can get it to uh, generate some power. Because as I'm sure you can tell, I'm without power because um, useless down there has just given up after a couple of hours. So let's get this thing working. So as it's all electrical stuff I need to deal with, I just need to start unplugging things like this and another one which is just a little bit further down. Uh, those go to the electric switcher up inside the front panel. Control the outputs like the mains power, the 12 volt and also cut off, shut off, whatever stuff, you know, for the switch that you can hear in there. So yeah, get on with this bit. So the engine and generator part are uh, put aside for the moment and what I need to do is get into there because that's where the primary capacitor is which uh, excites the winding inside of the generator which makes magic happen and electricity happens. So yeah, apparently that's supposed to be a diode pack or something I think. No that's not a diode pack, the diode pack is somewhere else. Actually, it could be bolted on underneath here. I don't know, I'm gonna pull it off anyway. Well, ain't I just a herpy derp? I never saw the 8 microfarad rating there. Bugger. Oh well, at least I've got an 8 microfarad to replace it, so. Phew. The only problem is, well, where am I gonna stick it? It's certainly not gonna fit under there, because if you compare the two together, it's like chalk and cheese. Or oh, little and large, or. Fat and thing, you know, take a pick of buns. But I don't know, I'm trying to think of where to put it, and I really don't know why they put these two capacitors in here. But then again, it's the UK, we probably sell them for noise suppression or some bollocks like that. Hell, I found those things inside of Kirby's as well, they're not needed. But anyway, time to rip this out. So now I've got the original capacitor out. I need to figure out where I want to put this new one because I can't really put it here because that's where the exhaust and baffling components live. Uh, I can't really put it around here because that's where the pull starter and whatnot goes through and that area is taken up by the electrical socketry and all that stuff. Um, yeah, not too sure. I have to work this one out carefully because I don't want this capacitor being crushed. Which will be very bad times indeed. So that's neat. I actually found a date inside of this. 97 to 10. And that's Japanese date, so... Uh, February the 10th, 97? Or... September... no, not September. October 2nd, 97? Either way, it's from 1997. Cool. So I pulled off the uh, fuel tank just to see if there's any space behind there. And I think I might, with a little modification, get this in here. In other models, this space would be uh, reserved for the pilot light and the oil alert system. Which this one doesn't actually have because, well, they cheapened it after a few years. Um, so, yeah. The only niggle is this little thing on the end. And I don't believe it's connected to anything inside, so I might just go get my hacksaw and remove it. So, be right back. There we go. Modification complete. Let's see if it'll actually fit in that space. If I can wedge it in between these wires. Kind of. It's kind of fouling on the uh, circuit breaker there. But, you know, I suppose once the petrol tank's back in, it'll hold it in place, in theory. Darn it. Fouls on the tank. <sighs> Bugger. So, I need to find somewhere else to put it. 
So I've routed the cable from the capacitor to where the original one was connected inside of there. I uh, still haven't found anywhere to place the capacitor on the front panel here. Uh, everywhere I look it either would interfere with mechanical components or it would just foul on things where it would get crushed. And I really don't want that to happen. It would be so much easier if uh, I had a square one like this because, you know, it fits. Quite literally I'm trying to use a round peg in a square bloody hole. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to just reattach this to the, back to the engine component, no, not engine component, the the engine and generator section and see if I can like, lay it down somewhere safe or maybe even like zip tie it onto the multi-plug there just to hold it in place. So yeah, I bet that zoom sounded awesome. I'd say that's a no as well. God, they built this thing tight as a duck's arse. There's no room for anything other than what they specified. Sheesh. Let's see if there's anything in there, but I really can't. I don't know. Mm -mm. Well, I'm going up trying to find somewhere to hide the uh, capacitor, so. For now I'm just going to test the thing, see if it actually puts out enough voltage to light the big bulb there. If it does, great. If it doesn't, something else is wrong. So, I'm just going to get this thing running and then plug the load in. Well, I suppose it's more than what it was doing before. At least I'm actually getting some light out of it. But I think something else is uh, not quite right with it. Maybe that is actually still good. And I might not actually need to have that. Oh well, the cycle continues. The exhaust it. The fact there. Start with that again. I can't really put it in this space here because that's where the exhaust manifold and baff is battling, 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 battling. So now I've got the original capacitor out, I need to figure out. Okay. There we go, modification, modification, there we go, modification. <laughs> so I've rooted the. the Start again. I can't find anywhere on the front thing 